Hey guys and gals, it's Tox here with episode 2 of the how to model slash mod and armor 3 tutorials. Uh, today is going to be a pretty quick one. It's going to just be dedicated to how to install armor 3 toolbox, uh, for tool, toolbox for Blender and how to use um, Blender because I remember when I first started Blender was a complete and other nightmare to learn. Um, I've gotten better over over uh, over a few months. I've been using Blender. I'm still not the best. And as always, complete disclosure. I am just got a text message. Shut up. Um, <laughs> uh, just complete disclosure. I'm new to the modern community in Armor Three. Uh, I'm still really new to this. I'm still learning. If you have any comments, any suggestions, any ways I can improve, please let me know. I would love to hear it out. I love learning new stuff and just learning new learning new things. It's just one of my passions. So let's get started. We want to first go to this. Just look up Armor 3 tools for blender or go into the description i'll have the link to this one the github i don't know what i clicked on this i don't think this is really applicable anymore it's kind of outdated so you want to go to the github because this is still up to date kind of <laughs> yeah. so what you want to do is download this to start off with code okay i went ahead and uninstalled armor 3 tools off of blender so i could install it with you guys so you want to open up your downloads you we already extracted the armor 3 toolbox you want to go here you want to click inside of the master one and you want to control c this one right here, Arma, th Arma Toolbox. Then you want to go to your, wherever your, Arm, your uh, Blender is located. For me, it's in my uh, D drive. So then you want to go to Blender. You want to go to 3.1, Scripts, Add-ons, and you want to Control V here and it should be added let's go check blender general delete that stupid block uh file preferences resets <laughs> great let me just do this real quick okay. As uh, you can scroll in and out using the uh, the mouse wheel, so scroll up, so scrolls in, scroll down, scrolls out. You can also press this right here to look around. I I personally don't use that very often. I probably should. It actually is quite useful. Or you can just hold the middle mouse button and do the virtually the same thing. Um, if you press Shift middle you can just detach your camera and go wherever you like. Obviously, you cannot do middle mouse button and shift at the same time. It's shift then middle if you want to do this. If you press, like let's say you have an extended keyboard like I do. Uh, if you press one, that'll be your front view. Two is this kind of underneath view. Three is Oh yeah, uh, I should probably explain what these colors you're seeing are. This is your Z-axis. This is your up and down. If you're if you imagine it as a 2D plane, <laughs> this is your Y-axis. But it's in 3D, so it's not Y. <laughs> um, your Y-axis is actually the green line. Uh, that's like width. Actually, wait. Uh, uh, yeah, your uh, wide line is actually length, and your 
X line, which is your red line, is actually more like width. All of these things um, kind of nuance. Sometimes really they don't matter. You just make your model. If it something's not working, you twist it like this. You just do A and then R. And -ah. Okay, I messed everything up. You should do A and R and then like you can rotate. You can rotate certain faces or if you just want one. Okay, so let's say and right here, we're in object mode. This is where we can select our objects, where we can transform them, move them, delete them, etc. Let's say we want to edit this small block. I would click on the cube. I would go edit. And now we have little vortexes down in the corner. Uh, right here is where you can either select face, which is this one, uh, edges, which is the middle one, or vertex, which is this one. They all have different purposes depending on what you're trying to do, depending on your model and what you're working with. Um, so let's just say face. Let's say I want to make just a just a really long cube. I want to extend this out five meters. I would do extend, which is E. You can also extend backwards, which would make this little cave in that you see there. And then I have, let's say I have the number pad. I would hit, let's say five meters is what I want. And I want it in the Y direction. So I press Y. Then I hit five. I completely forgot that this side is positive and this side is negative. If you want to reverse it, you don't have to redo it. Just hit negative on your keyboard. There you go. And okay, that's done. Now let's say uh, I didn't like this. I want to move this part of it a little to the side and up. So let's say I'll do extend X direction one, and then I would shift. You can select multiple stuff with shift and I'll press G and let's say Z because I want it up. And let's say I want it up by one. Now I have this really weird looking shape. Let's say I want to mimic it on the same side, same thing. E extend x one grab both sides g which is move z one there we go now i have that but let's say now i'm like i want this to be like caved in a little bit so then i would go to this little edge select click this edge press Ooh. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I forgot about that. Okay. It's select. So it's, there it is. Control R. And these are like cuts. These are kind of like, you can put in new areas where you can click stuff. I don't want it there. So I'm going to do it again. So click here, control R. Oh, there you see, you see. And that's where like, I can change it a little bit. If I scroll up on my mouse wheel, I can add more of them so you can add more detail to your build if you really need that many different points where you where you can manipulate it i right now do not i just want that i did not mean to move it uh whatever put it right here okay so i want this to come in so then i would do ba -ba g Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Damn, how did I do this again? Da, 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 G. No, what am I? Oh my. Oh my, Shindaru. Edge select, edge select. That's. Yep, yeah, there we go. 
I forget what I was doing earlier. It's being stupid. So I would go to my front view. I would click on this edge, front view, G, and then I can like move it in, create this really weird looking thing. Let's say I want it. Oof. <laughs> Oof, no. <laughs> Uh, um, let's say I wanted to go in a little bit uh, in the whole X direction. So let's say I wanted to go down 0 0.1 in the X and then I wanted to go in 0 0.5 on the on the X. I meant Z the first time. That would give us this weird shape. What am I making? I'm making a futuristic trash can or like a really weird looking gun ah doesn't matter <laughs> I'm going to delete this anyways uh, you can do the same thing here click that Z 0 0.1 okay I don't know why that happened first view Oh yeah, uh, if you just press Z normally, it will bring up this menu where you can check everything, really. It's like, I like this, I use this a lot, wireframe mode. Just very useful, very everything. Just really good. Try using it as much as possible is my recommendation. 0 0.1, negative, G, X, did I say 0 0.5? Yeah, there we go. There is a way. What's that? Delete. How do I? It was X, right? Yeah. X, only face. Edge. There we go. You press whenever you want to delete something, like let's say. I really want to look into this. I can just do here, X, um, delete only face. So now I can look into my masterpiece. And you can put stuff in there, etc. I do not want that right now. Sometimes those things happen where they, uh, it, I honestly don't know why that happens sometimes. If you really want to avoid that, I find that if it happens to you often, just do, uh, just do just like drag it onto the edge and then if there's multiple edges there it should click both of them if that doesn't work try shift dragging and you should be 100% fine I've never really had any problems with it my phone goes off again I'm going to throw it at a wall <laughs> okay so now that that's complete um, so I talked about how to put in these little things. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm going to be talking about, it's going to be covered in the other videos, like UV editing. Uh, I'm not going to be using Texture Painter for this. Um, I will be using Adobe uh, Surface Painter to make the model's um, textures, just because I suck at making textures. <laughs> So, yeah. Yep. Um, honestly, that's really just the basics. You can do so much just with that. Uh, it's not everything. If I, te if I do anything else in the future videos, which I did not explain this one, I will be going over it in that video. Um, like, there's special stuff you have to do just to use Arma tools. Like, you have to... Um, put in oh nope wrong one I don't want to use that where is it no there it is uh, control E brings up this menu um, and that's the wrong menu control E no was it alt E shift E shift S Chef a. Okay, so 
I always forget where this is located. It's shift or control A. And this is, I'll be going over what this is and what it does in the next episode. But basically, just know that you'll be clicking all of these buttons right here whenever you're making an Arma uh, mod. Okay, right. that's it for episode two. Thank you guys so much for sticking through this complete and utter train wreck. Um, have a good day. Stay safe. Take care out there. See ya.